Welcome back to uh, English 9 updates. You know how it is. Uh, no lesson today, but a quick, very important update. So if you are watching, please listen. Um, just had to play that because I know we're all trapped. Anyway, uh, so um, really important stuff. So please listen, pay attention. Um, make sure you're watching this video, um, especially in your fair, my fourth period. So, starting next week, uh, I've just received information, I will only be posting assignments on Tuesday. I will only be posting assignments on Tuesday. So the lessons, the video lessons, the assignments on Google Classroom, they will only be posted on Tuesday. I'll try to post them as early as I can in the morning, so that we have the entire day, school day. Don't, don't be working past two. Um, no, it's, it's your life. Um, so that I can get them out to you as soon as possible on Tuesday. Um, we're doing this, all teachers basically have their own schedule. Um, so basically on Tuesday, what it'll look like for my class is when you open up Google Classroom on Tuesday, you'll probably see an announcement where I have like this quick video summing up what you're doing. And then if you go to the assignments, you'll see, as has been happening for the last three, a video assignment, a video where, lesson where I walk through the poem, and then the assignment attached where you read a poem, analyze it, and then write your own poem. So you'll have to do two of those on Tuesday because I've been doing one every other day through the week. Um, so just two. I know that's a lot, um, but at the same time, I've been trying to keep the videos around 10 minutes. So at most on Tuesdays, what you're probably going to be doing is maybe a 15-minute video, then you read some poems, write your poem, another 15-minute video, read a poem, write your poem, and you're done. Um, so I really hope that's not too much, and I really hope that we can complete it. I've been loving the poems I'm getting, and I'll read some in just a moment. Um, so... Why am I doing this? It's because this is the entire, this is the school policy we're starting next week. So next week, Monday will be math day. Tuesday is English and foreign language day. Wednesday is science day. Thursday is social studies day. And Friday is electives, health, and PE day. So um, I'll post on Google Classroom. Um, so again, English is Tuesday. Also, I will be tracking, I've got some emails from students saying like, oh, I, 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 I'm attendance, how do I do this? What, it, what is happening is every teacher will be tracking attendance for their fourth period only. So I will be tracking my fourth period students, other teachers will be tracking their fourth period students. So my advice is get in contact with your fourth period teacher, tell them what's up, make sure they understand you're checking in, um, all that stuff. So I'll be sitting out in a survey uh, and every other teacher probably will send it on to you too. You only need to take it once per week. It's a different survey per week. So just take it then. Um, and so fourth period students, if you're listening right now, um, I sent out a mass email earlier, 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 please respond to that email, um, and get back to me. Please take the survey that was attached to that email. If you're watching this video and you haven't already done so, please take the survey that's attached to this video in Google Classroom. Um, it's important you're checking in with your fourth period teacher once a week, at least. Um, so, that takes care of that. I've said it before, I'll say it now again. If you want to change your third quarter grade, you can. Please work on submitting assignments from that time. Um, you can go on Google Classroom and see all the major important assignments. If you're missing other ones, I can send you them as well. So please, if, you're, if you got an F and you want to make that up, email me. If you got a C and you want to make that up, email me. Let's figure this out. Your third quarter grade very much so could be your final grade for the entire semester, if it's not the grade you want on your semester grade, please reach out. I'll probably be reaching out to every student who failed quarter three um, this week, maybe today, tomorrow, so just be expecting that. Um, also, if you submit late work, please always send me an email with the subject line as late work, and then in the email itself, please tell me what assignment specifically you submitted. Google Classroom comments are just not working. Um, they, they're not, they're not good enough for me to keep track of. So, um, please send me an email when you complete late work, um, and I will grade it. Um, also in case it wasn't clear, any work that is officially turned in on Google Classroom, I am grading. So just be aware of that. Um, I am grading work 100%. So I hope that clears some things up for you. Um, take attendance, get in contact with your fourth period teacher and, uh, make sure you're working on that third quarter work. Make sure your third quarter grade is the best it can be. Uh, so, without any further ado, I'm going to read through seven poems I received early, p turned in early, well done. Um, a couple of people have said that I can share their names, so I'm going to do that. Um, if I manage to pronounce my name, any names, I'm going to kill my house. So, no, but I don't think I'm going to. So, the first one is called The Floor. 
As we enter the gym, the bleachers, bleachers are filled with people on both sides. We are all set and ready to perform. I take one deep breath, and before I hear the music start, my body naturally moves, not having much to think about of my next move. My girls and I begin to dance, and one by one we head to our flags. As the first flag is opened and thrown into the air, the crowd begins to clap with excitement. We all begin to spin in sync, as we are all just one. Smiling all the way to impress the judges and the crowd, the last trick is tossed into the air and I catch it on top of the stairs. We all feel very proud and accomplished. Little did we know, it was our last performance of the season. I had to start off with that one because, yo. And these next uh, two are actually sports related as well. Or actually, this one is sports related as well. And then we have uh, two walk in the park ones, reflective uh, activity poems. And then we'll end with uh, a different one. This one is from Alina Jabbar. She said I could share her name, and so I'm going to. Uh, Alina Jabbar wrote this one. Um, if I read it poorly, I apologize. Runners, to your mark, set, go! Your blood is pumping, adrenaline rushing. You can feel butterflies in your stomach, but all you can do is go. Push yourself. You don't want to look slow. You hear feet thumping against the track, slowly coming closer, but you can't look back. You're tired, and sweat drips down your face, but there's just something that excites you about winning a race. Track and field. It's just running. What's the big deal? Our sport is every other sport's punishment. You need a special mentality to even understand the true fundament. So, that was by Alina Jabbar. I liked it. Um, especially that one line, um, our sport is every other sport's punishment, because it's so true. In PE, everybody's always like, I hate this, and it's like, that, that's what I live for. So, next one. I tie my shoes. My head is aching, and so I choose to take a break and step outside into the cool air. As we collide, I simply stare at the sky. I'm alone again, I simply sigh. I can't remember when I last felt this calm. As I start walking and feel the sidewalk beneath, my head stops its mocking. Now I can breathe. And so I contemplate it all as I carry on my way. And as I pass gates and cars and walls, my troubles drift away. Now I'm ready to return and continue with my life. And though for the street I will again yearn, for now I'm free of strife. I really like that one. If you could see the structure as well, they really do it well so that, like, you can get the rhythm, even if you have no rhythm, like me. This next one is also of contemplative poetry um, by Joshua Garcia. It's called Fading Light. Look at these titles, so professional. I had just woken up. Nothing was clear. I was infilled with fear. The endless drought of darkness swept me away. I cried and began to pray. I looked up and saw the light made me so skeptical since it was so bright. Shining the appearance of a bridge, I was exhilarated with joy like a switch. I thought to myself, is it world peace? It was. My joy started to increase. I walked, I jogged, I ran, but I wasn't getting anywhere. I was exhausted. I just lost it. I was being pulled and tripped. It felt as if my heart was being ripped. Hatred, deception, and violence didn't want me to reach the true light. Was the world we knew right? I can't change it. This is where we live in. Every day was filled with corruption and sin. My eyes were tired. This was my fading light. And this next one is shorter. Painting, and it's based off of, I can tell, they, they read the the, po the piano one, which is very confusing to a lot of you, um, and they kind of like wrote this in that same style, I think. Painting and painting endlessly till the colors appeared gray, she knew the sun couldn't always stay. There was more empty space to fill, canvases absorbing the different shades. Every color entangled with others, they were yelling out in pain, for she could only picture the cold rain. For her, sun always couldn't stay, her paintbrush running on the canvas in the tight clutch of old withered hands. And here's another one about art. Drawing. Pencil in my hand, free to move however it wants. I could draw something grand or just something small. The page comes alive with colors and shapes. I could draw the sea or a beautiful landscape. Drawing sets me free. Whenever things get stressful or hard, it could be something beautiful. Maybe someday it could win me an award. Uh, and this last one is also about drawing. Except actually it's about writing. I had to end up with this. Holding a pencil, tip resting on the paper, thinking of an idea, staring at said object. Whether you sketch a small doodle or draw an entire masterpiece, there's always that lack of motivation. Such a bittersweet thing. Blank stare at the paper, or anger boiling inside me, but blocked by emptiness, emptiness of creativity. This is not the first time it happens, it actually happens more than we would like it to, which is never. Art block is not easy to overcome. It could be a sign of loss and in interest, or to simply take a break. And I hope you guys are taking care of yourselves, and I hope you guys are taking breaks. I hope you guys enjoyed those poems, and again, if you submit your poem, I'll read it. Um, if you want me to tell your name, I'll do that. Hope you guys enjoy this. Have an excellent day. Take care of yourselves. I miss you. Have an excellent, wonderful life.